72 here. Today I'm heading over to a house that was built in the 1920s. It's uh, one of my only permissions. And I first hit this spot last year, shortly after I got my AT Pro. Found a lot of cool stuff. Some of my best finds. Got some pictures here. Pro a little bit better. I am going back to this place in hopes of finding even cooler stuff or even the same cool stuff. Maybe even a little bit of silver, which I have not had a whole lot of luck finding. But that's why they call it treasure hunting. So I will check back with you guys at the first good park. Okay, now that the wind has picked up, got my first good find. It's a wheat head penny. 1920 something. Can't quite get the date off of it. Cool. I'll take it. Okay, this one. Sounds really good. Let's find out what we got. Got the plug pulled. Okay, nothing yet. Trying to be in the plug. Right there. another wheat penny. Uh, I'll get the date later. Cool. Let's see if there's more. Well, that was a good, solid two-hour hunt. Give or take. And I ended up with four or five, maybe six wheat pennies. So I didn't record every one I found because I don't know how many times can you see the same thing. So I'll clean them up and I'll do a little wrap up. And I don't know any of the years. I know one of them is in the 20s but that's about it. So I'll get them cleaned up and we'll do a little wrap up video. And then I got something else for you guys after the wrap up. So if you're interested, stay around. Okay, everyone. We are here at the wrap up. So I ended up with five wheat pennies. 
1955, uh, 1943, 1944, 1951, 1957. And then I also got this little guy here. I don't know, some kind of little figure. Not really sure. But anyway, that is the wrap up. I do have one more penny uh, I got soaking in oil. It, it's a Lincoln Memorial 1970, but I think it might be double dyed. Anyway, I'm going to let it soak for a while and we'll figure it out from there. So thanks for watching and hang around for what I got coming up next. Road Warrior 72, out. Hey everyone, Road Warrior 72 here. I got a package in the mail. This would be from our very own Digger Charlie and the Stealth Digger group. I will add that uh, these are items that I got up off of eBay. So, I went ahead and cracked them open and see what they are. I don't kill myself trying to get it open and not tear anything up in the process. Cool knife, though, by the way. This is a uh, courtesy of Kurt Franz from the, Hooser Bo from the Hoover Boys. So, messed my words up there, but whatever. All right. Starting with, I bet you guys can already tell what this is. Oh yeah! Got me some Stealth Digger swag. This is going to go perfectly. Awesome. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's good. Cool. And I got some tunes. So. Three more CDs. I already had two. So now I got a lot of listening uh, to do. So thank you for that, Charlie, and the uh, rest of the Stealth Digger gang. You guys rock. Live free or die. And JMO Swing Beat Dig. Adios.